Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today we're going to look at a flip through of the Happy Houseplant Coloring Book. 50 Plants to Color and Care For. It's a, quite a good book. So lots of people asked for a flip through of this when I put out my picture of, you know, me sort of early celebrating at Barnes and Noble. I'll just do my um, August purchases for <laughs> the month as well. What we have purchased this month are these two things. So, you know, I'm kind of in the process of moving, getting a new job and moving, so it's been kind of frantic the last couple of weeks. I got at the bookstore, I got A Million Little Monsters, and oh, it does not disappoint. It's super good. I'm on a handheld today, so it might be a little shaky and wobbly because I'm in a hotel again, and my filming equipment is four states away. So. We've seen this on uh, everybody's channel by now. I'm late to the party care, but that's okay. I didn't really purchase anything in July and or August because I, you know, I was hoping moving was imminent. So, all right, so here we go. The Happy Houseplant Coloring Book. And I didn't realize it, but this is new. I just liked it. It took me forever to figure out where the copyright information is because it's not at the front or back and sorry if the lighting is not great again in a hotel room hold, doing this with you know one hand basically so there's lots of blah 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 which I never really read ever if there's that in a coloring book I'm just there to look at the pictures looks like there's definitions and such uh, here we go the copyright information if it's going to focus, is where? 2023 by Caitlin Keegan. Okay. And most of these have the plant here and then a little blurb over here. Oh, no, I lied. The blurb is on the back, I guess. I, I prefer when the blurb is over here. But there's whatever this plant says. I don't even know. Sorry. Uh, all the attributes of the plant are on the back. And this is a quirky little book. Like you can see here, there's a table. There's This is a dressing table. So they've got the chair and all their dressing stuff and a bird. And a plant is in front of those mirrors, which I'm assuming are reflecting the patterned wallpaper. And a lot of the, a lot of the pages are like that, very complicated like that. All right, looks like it's in front of a window with curtains. I don't know. And it's got these little blobby things. I don't know what's going on there. In a cabinet in the house. That's why I got these pictures, because I liked I liked the quirky little settings and such. There are some that I had to look at for a long time. I was just flipping through it for a long time to see what in the world was going on. And these are all in, like, wallpaper homes, apparently. Sorry. I'm trying to keep you as still as I can, but like I said, this is a handheld job here. Because all my filming stuff is four states away. I keep thinking I'm going to leave any day now, but I keep getting waylaid. I thought yesterday I was putting in my contract. We didn't put it in until just now late today. And we're rushing. We're... We're bidding low because the guy had a pie in the sky price. Um, we're bidding low, but we're giving him very little time. It's you know, it's an in it's an interesting offer. I don't have full confidence that it's going to go through. So I ran around earlier today looking for short-term lease apartments, which cost a small fortune just to give myself more time to buy a house. Um, what else has happened? Oh, so much has happened in my life. I pretty much reached my level of stress though. My thumbs, yesterday when I was going over the contract with the realtor on the phone, my thumb started twitching and it's still twitching. And I'm like, oh my God, now I have a disease. I'm hoping it's just stress. But then I always think back to Michael J. Fox, who's like, he knew he had whatever disease he has because like a finger of his started twitching or something. I'm like a little terrified. 
clearly I've reached my level of stress. I love this one. This is an ode to Matisse because you've got the, this is an ode to his paper cutouts. So I'm going to switch hands here a little bit. Um, you've got the scissors and the cutouts and these are his very iconic shapes. So they've got it like taped on the wall. That was when, oh gosh, we went awry there. Um, Matisse was on his sick bed and he was still doing art. So he did paper cutouts. All right, I should probably switch back to the other hand because clearly I'm better with the other hand. Okay, on a dining table, I think. I love this one, Snake Plant. Is that one also called Mother of Tongue? Mother Tongue or something like that? I could be wrong. Okay, let me raise you up here gonna be a wonky one this is the one I don't really understand like why is this different than this over here in the background what's going on there if you understand that one let us know I love this one in front of the window I like the furniture it's kind of mid-century modern-ish furniture nice brickwork and stuff this is good this one took me a long time to figure out as well it's a poster it's just like a poster hanging on the wall I'm like, why is there a head and a spine and like a heart and stuff? I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. But yeah, she puts these in like quirky little house places and stuff. This one's also cool. The kind of the zebra cactus one. I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit. And then they've got zebra. It's in, it's in a, one of those round terrariums and it's zebra wallpaper. Now, in this book, some of these spaces are so tiny, you're going to need like a super sharp, hard leaded pencil or a fine liner or something. I'd measure the book for you, but I, uh, yeah, I don't have anything like that with me. I didn't, I brought all of my coloring books that I wasn't coloring in at home because I thought I would go home and have some time to do stuff. I love this page here. so I didn't actually pack, I, I put all my coloring books in storage the first day I got here. But I didn't pack anything to like color with or color on. Because there wasn't really room in the car. <laughs> so we're taking a hiatus from coloring, I guess, to move, get my new life started. I like that it gives the names of the plants too. I realize there's some other books out there that do that as well, but I don't actually own any of them. So it gives me a chance to look these up and see what they really are colored like. I may or may not color them as they're supposed to be, but I have the opportunity to if I would like. Like, I don't know what's going on in this picture. At first I thought it was a bird's eye view, but no, that looks like it's coming off the wall. Oh gosh. Same problem as Vegas, one-handed one handed videoing and one-handed flipping is hard. Love this one a lot. I like anything with a bathtub, yet I've actually never colored a bathtub, but I keep buying books because there's like a bathtub in them. I like this one a lot too. A lot of these have some very interesting potential, I think. And that is it, the back cover. All right, that has been a flip of the Happy Houseplant Coloring Book. 
and my August um, coloring book uh, haul. <laughs> there we are. I hope you have a wonderful day. I appreciate your stopping by. I'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.